What's up guys, we gotta cover some of these mods because I was going crazy with the downloads and I started uh, running out of some storage space. So, uh, especially when I record, uh, my MP4s, they are like really big in size. So, um, we're gonna start off with the first mod called Fashions of Banditry. This is going to add more variety to the bandits. They will have new armor and clothes. Some of these combine bandit materials with others like Dwemer Tech and Ebony. So uh, I am kind of on the fence about this mod, mostly because while I think that these outfits look good, it makes them a bit too fancy. Like everybody is dripping out and it looks like all of like the normal bandits are all bandit chiefs. So next up is Zorak War Axe. This can be acquired at the forge with the steel smithing perks. I like the look of this thing and I like war axes a lot. Um, this one is also easy to craft, you know, since it's steel, so it's approved. Uh, the only small issue that I have with this is that the textures are on the more cartoony side, so it stands out a little bit, but this is only when you zoom in too close. And it's like on the wood part mostly so you can get this with the red wraps or the blue wraps I chose the red wraps for this video overall I'm gonna say that this is actually a pretty good one mostly due to it being small in size and because it's war axe and I'm kind of biased towards war axes next are these beautiful flame atronachs by the fourth unknown this is going to simply change the look of the flame atronachs in the game uh, both the ones that you conjure and the ones that you encounter in the world. So these things look good and if it's one of my favorite model replacers as of late. This is just aesthetics. It's not going to change the gameplay, the hit and hurt boxes or anything like that. So it also doesn't use a plugin. So it's even more reason to try it out because if you don't like it, you could just uninstall. Uh, I also recommend getting the optimized textures from Xtudo because sometimes these mods can cause a lot of frame drops and small freezes. Xtudo's texture mods are great and thanks to them I was able to use mods like legendary alpha shields. So they have made, you know, textures for this flame Atronach and I recommend getting those. Next is Anis' cabin exterior and interior overhaul. This is a nice mod. You can feel the love put into this as immediately as soon as you walk up to the place. So there's so much going on. There's like a lot of alchemy ingredients around and some crops planted. Annie's will occasionally walk around and tend to the garden. The whole place seems to be nav mesh properly. The interior is modified a bit. And um, I'm not exactly sure what's been changed as this is one of those areas that you don't usually go into especially since it's considered trespassing so there is a back door that leads outside of this place and i want to say that this is a feature added by the mod because i don't remember this um i like this back door and it's probably my favorite feature from this mod so any will still attack you when you come back outside you know the none may know my secret thing and, uh, you know, I've seen no issues with this, so this is a really good one. Next is the Dabalero from Ninja Gaiden. It's a great sword that you can craft at the forge. I like this weapon as I am a fan of Ninja Gaiden. I was more of a dragon sword user, but having swords from other games is always welcome. This is a very performance friendly weapon and the texturing is acceptable. The swing speed is pretty normal as well, but it also appears to be a bit faster than the normal great swords so uh, i recommend trying this one out you can find all of these mods at the next at the nexus uh thank you to all of the authors for their submissions and thank you guys for watching i will see you all next time